Shelly Bauer, trainer, coach, um, author. She has done remarkable things in her life, and we are very lucky to have her here today. Some of her clients, AutoZone, FedEx, Medtronic, we could go on and on. But today, she's going to teach us about vision boards. Come on up, Shelly. It's great to have McDonald's as the besties. I just want to get on record saying that. Actually, I, when I first met Lynn, we were in the same BNI chapter, and we still are. And I was writing my first book, Integrity Based Communications, and I was seeking stories, life stories, that could bring to life, could flesh out the principles that I was trying to teach. And she came up with a story about selling her agency after she and Troy fell in love and she was moving to Memphis. Her daughter had worked in her Allstate agency in Madison, Wisconsin, and Lynn had had her uh, work in the agency for a while and she said, you know, honey, I'm gonna sell the agency. Would you like to buy it? And she said, you know what, Mom? I've watched you for a long time and I see how hard you work, but one day I wanna be a mom and I just, sure I want to work that hard. Because her daughter was willing to tell her truth quicker, faster, Lynn was relieved that she had made the offer, but the daughter made the decision for herself. And so she sold the agency to somebody else and came to Memphis and married that fabulous, crazy man, Troy. <laughs> and, um, and they're still in business together with the largest Allstate agency in the state of Tennessee. So I'd just like to give a shout out to the Allstate pros because they didn't take their time this morning to talk about Allstate. And you know, when you're in their hands, you're in great hands. All right, so <laughs> what Lynn asked me to talk about today was vision boards. And you know, there's something about writing goals that's really important. Would you agree, yes or yes? And what do we want goals to be? We want them to be SMART goals. The coach knows that. He teaches it too. As a matter of fact, we're both Brian Tracy certified. So that's crazy. Certified crazy. And uh, <laughs> so it's one of the reasons that I love Eric, because we are on the same page with how we uh, define our values, our principles, beliefs. But SMART goals are what? First, S. Specific. Second, M. Measurable. Measurable. Third, A. Attainable. Attainable. Or aligned. That's right. That's our favorite. R. Reachable. Realistic. Reachable. And then T. Time bound. So you've got an end time by which you want to do this. Now, it's one thing to write them down. And that, that is certainly um, physical, and it's certainly visual, but what we want to talk about today is taking goal setting to a whole new level of manifestation. Because when we combine all of our senses, whether it's visualization or smell or taste or the kinesthetic you know, uh, practice of actually putting things on paper and smelling the glue or feeling the tape as it sticks to our fingers and we're pasting something on our board. It, it just, you're investing more of yourself. And I told uh, Eric today that uh, I was gonna refer to some principles, what we call mental laws that Brian Tracy put together in his um, body of work called the Phoenix Seminar for Maximum Achievement. And I'm not gonna read them out loud because I'm certainly not gonna put myself in a position of copyright infringement because I'm a woman who's all about integrity. But I suggest for those of you who are interested more in the science and the understanding of these mental laws, I just put them on the flip chart for you. So if you wanna take a picture or if you wanna come back, you know, after they jerk me off the stage to be able to take a picture of them, it's the law of attraction, the law of belief, the law of concentration, and the law of super conscious activity that triggers manifestation in a different way. Now, most of us have heard about the law of attraction because of The Secret, you know, that very important book and, and video 
but each and every one of these has a different spin to it, and you will find that there's a universality that transcends even religion in, in how these uh, laws work in your life. So here's what I want to ask you to do. You have each a, um, manila. a, a manila folder. If you don't have one, please raise your hand. Yep, I did. And um, Lynn, okay, I'll let you do that, Lynn. I want to I want to suggest that you direct your attention over here to this domains life balancing tool because it's a way that you can focus on nine different domains. And in every case, the question to ask yourself is, where am I now in the body, mind, spirituality, romance, family, community, money, career, or play domain? Where am I now? And where would I like to be during 2019? By the end of the year, when I'm celebrating my success and I've manifested things that I really wanted to have come true in 2019, I want you to project what you want that to look like. So what, what might be an example in the body domain of where you would like to be in 2019 by the end of the year? 20 pounds lighter. 20 pounds lighter. You don't have 20 pounds to lose. But it's, a good, it's your goal. It's your goal. And so one of the things that you might want to do, whether it's having the Morses print out a super bodybuilder or a uh, Wonder Woman stance, or it's going through a magazine and finding a gym like the one that Courtney is opening. Um, so in the body domain, what about in the mind domain? What's something that you might want to have happen in 2019 that's not quite where you want it to be today? Read a book a month. Read a book a month, all right. What's the, what's the suggested title you want to start with, just for? Um, Extreme Ownership that was written by Navy, Navy Seals. Seals. Absolutely, one of my favorites. Okay, and in the spirituality domain, what is something that you would like to manifest in 2019 that isn't quite where you want it to be yet? Meditating more often. Meditating more often. So to make that a smart goal, what would that sound like, Pat? Ten minutes a day? Ten minutes a day, seven days a week? Yeah. All right, there you go. How about the romance domain? Uh, Lynn and I did manifest it. And we did manifest our soulmates. And uh, visualization was a big part of that for me. I know you manifested grandchildren. Oh, yeah. You want to tell about that, Lynn? <laughs> um, I took Shelley's class in 2004. And, you know, you can look at your dream board all the time, or if it gets packed away and you open up and you go, oh, my gosh, everything's going true. One of them, I know you can't see it, but twin had five wonderful adult children. And in 2004, I said, could we have a grandchild, please? And she put <laughs> it on the board. <laughs> That's what it says right here. We have 13. <laughs> 13 years, 13, oh, 13 grandchildren, all right. And how did you make that happen? <laughs> we just coaching. babysat. Coaching. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, that's, that's part of romance. It's also part of family. It's built over that for sure. What about community? What's something that you would like to have happen in the community? Maybe it's with the neighborhood Christian Center, you know, maybe it's with the YMCA, maybe it's with um, helping someone with a rise to read, which is what John and I started to do in 2018, and boy, we are getting our grandparent fixed <coughs> every week, because ours live in Chicago and New York, so it's hard to read to them every, every day or every week. But what's something that you might want to do in the community domain in 2019 that is not yet accomplished for you? So volunteer to help someone in Memphis. It really doesn't matter what it is. But if you zero in, when you hear other people talk, when I heard about a rise to read, it's like it just clutched my heart and said, that's it. I can make a difference in the life of a third grader or a second grader ascending into the third grade and change their lives forever. Um, in the money 
domain. Anybody want to make more money in 2019 than they did in 2018? Yeah. Raise your hands if you want to make I'm more money, money, okay, <laughs> so that you can help more people with your site. And what no. might that look like? Anybody? Well, figure out ways to work smarter with figure your money. Figure out ways to work smarter, not harder. Well, you, you'll still have to work hard. Well, <laughs> we're all working hard. I yeah. bet everybody in this room is working hard. Right. But, but yeah. to manifest more for the same amount of time, perhaps, yeah. or the same right. amount of energy. But to use a vision board or something like that that brings all of your senses to play as you go through the process of putting it together, just... Mm -hmm. It's like you can smell it, you can taste it, you can you can hear it, you can touch it, and every day you can see it. So, Pat, maybe in your meditation time, you start out by looking at your finished vision board and you and you review all the things that you said you wanted to do, and you can even go through and say, "Got that one done, got that one done," and uh, it's a it's a really great way to set the tone for um, meditation and what you really want in your life. And then we got two more, the career domains. Anybody thinking about making a job change or going to a slight, all right, maybe, yeah, all right. Yeah. So, and then finally, this one is so important. It's one that I almost forgot for a while in my life. It's the play domain. Every one of us still has a five-year-old that wants to get out and giggle and play with puppies and, and do patty cake with a two-year-old, right? Well, maybe not, but you get the idea. We want to free ourselves up. I remember after my dad retired, he was working with me in my business for a while. And at that time, it was a marketing communications firm. He heard me go through this module, which takes an hour to teach if you do it in its entirety. And he said, you know, I, I never play. He said, my mom died when I was 12 years old. And... Um, he said, I, I never learned. I said, well, good thing you're working for me. I think we ought to close up shop right now and go take a spin in the convertible. What do you think? <laughs> so it's to give ourselves permission to live lives that are more fully, fully vibrant, fully uh, filled with joy. And that's this is a tool to help you do that. So what I want to ask that you do is open your manila folder and perhaps create nine different places where you can write these names, body, mind, spirituality, romance, family, community, money, career, and play, and write down one thing in each of those areas that you would like to see come to manifestation in the year 2019. Now, you're going to be covering it up, so it may be that you want to put it on one side and then you begin your picture cutting out on the other side, or maybe you do it on a separate piece of paper instead of your instead of your card. But I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to stop talking unless there are. There's an example. Oh, good. For playing, if you wanted to if you wanted to play more tennis in 2019, you go to Google, put a picture of a man or a woman, or I put woman and man playing tennis, and then come down instead of where it says all, <coughs> click images, and it will only show you images. So uh, then you can pick the pictures that represent most what your desire to happen and with your vision board. And, and, and then uh, and you can email those to the Morses over here. And if you can't do that, then then send me the, um, send, send URL. Me the URL. And I, uh, or you can send them the URL. So you've got Lenian's email. You can just copy and paste. URL if your phone won't allow you to click and save the picture. They'll print it for you. You can put it right there on your vision board. <coughs> Easy peasy. Or you can dig into the magazine. That's right. Oh boy, Lynn brought just a fraction of the boxes of magazines that she has from the state sale. So magazines are all over. Be, be, feel free to roam around and pick up the one that's got food on it or the one that's got furniture on it or you know, whatever. So I, any questions of me before I zip my lip? Yes, Nita. So what are the, the nine domains? Could you go over that again? The nine right domains there. are right up here, pasted on the TV. Body, mind, spirituality, romance, family,
community, money, career, and play. So if you need to refresh, I'm just going to leave it up here the whole time we're here. All right? And I'll be wandering around. Yes? I would suggest to send, this, send it to me in the small image. Oh, okay. And that's the difference between the large and the small, so you are going to run out of room real quick. That's so true. Very good point. Thank you, Taylor. Anything else before I zip my lip? And I'll be wandering around. Yes, Lynn. I was just going to say, this is a work in progress, and what we're really hoping you'll do is continue to work on this once you get home. Feel free to take the magazines. We have an unlimited <laughs> supply. <laughs> and then, um, with Joe's permission, I think what we'll do is we'll have a show and tell at the end of the month, at the end of the meeting, where we do mastermind. So please work on these, not just in the next 30 minutes, but take it home and have it be fun. There's one more thing that I'd like to say. The, the template that I use when I'm doing this module in my Living on Purpose, which is a two-day uh, workshop, it, at the top, along the top, it says, one, goal setting, two, set a limit of time, three, write your plans, four, read aloud every morning and evening, and five, take action. Take action. So I'm going to put mine back over here on the table here. If you want to come look at it, you can. When you get home, there may be some pictures that you want to incorporate, whether it's your family, your friends, uh, a special event. There's that even handsome husband of mine I want to show off. Give me eye candy. Not for you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to put down the mic and sit my lip, and I'm going to be wandering around if you have any questions or Anything you want help with specifically on the manifestation techniques, the mental laws, just grab me. There you go, John. All right. All right, so you guys get started. What is it you want to see happen in 2019? This is the start of my vision board, and I have it in my, in my closet, and Taylor is printing off about eight more pictures to go on it. And... Uh, this is my second one. Uh, vision boards really work. I've already gone through my other one. Things happen. It's like magic. Y'all need any help? We've got scissors. We've got tape. We've got... Um, if you need help getting getting your picture printed, let me know. And Taylor, and we're going to show you how to do that. There's a way to do it.
here's some of my pictures, y'all. He's already printing them. <clears throat> okay, I just set I would like a pair if you have them. I'd like a pair. Where are they? Oh, no problem. I, I, well, it's still spinning, so I don't know if you got it or not.
Some things like today, I can take notes. I think I can find those notes. <laughs> the 